Chosen King, Bane. Passive, Shark Bite. Bane infuses his blade with a stack of tidal energy each time he uses a skill. He can have up to two stacks at most. Bane's basic attack will consume a stack of tidal energy to deal physical damage in a circle around him. First skill, Crab Claw Cannon. Bane fires a cannonball in the target direction. The cannonball deals physical damage to the first enemy hit, and then bounces to a random enemy behind them, prioritizing heroes to deal additional damage. Enemies hit will also be slowed. Second skill, Ale. Bane chucks his Ale, recovering HP and gaining movement speed. Use the skill again to spit venom in a fan-shaped area dealing magic damage to enemies. Ultimate, deadly catch. Bane summons a school of sharks to charge in a target direction, dealing magic damage and knocking enemies airborne while also slowing them. This skill also deals damage to turrets. In the laning phase, use Bane's second skill to get close to the enemy and hit them with an enhanced basic attack. Then use his first skill to slow the enemy, followed by another enhanced basic attack. And end with his second skill again with another enhanced basic attack. In teamfights, use Bane's second skill to close in and look for a good angle to catch multiple enemies with his ultimate. Use an enhanced basic attack when the enemies are knocked airborne. Then use his second skill, followed by another enhanced basic attack. Finally, use his first skill and another enhanced basic attack to chase and finish off the enemy. Bane has great sustain in combat but lacks mobility and is susceptible to being kited by enemies with superior range and movement abilities. Upgrade Bane's second skill at level 1 because it gives two stacks of tidal energy. But prioritize upgrading his first skill afterwards as his main source of damage. Legendary. Bane should alternate using skills and basic attacks to maximize his damage. Bane can build for physical attack or magic power since his passive and first skill are affected by physical attack. while magic power enhances his second skill and ultimate. Choose the best build based on the situation. War Axe is Bane's core piece of equipment due to its high physical penetration and movement speed bonus. Build Thunderbelt in the mid-game to make Bane's enhanced basic attacks even stronger. We recommend the Retribution Battle spell for Bane as he is an efficient jungler thanks to the healing and movement speed from his second skill. Bane can also pick Flicker to make up for his lack of mobility options. Bane counters tanks with high HP but low damage such as Hylos and Belerick because he can out-sustain them and deals HP percentage-based damage. Your team destroys the turret. Bond line. Bane is countered by mages that deal heavy damage from afar, such as Vale and Xavier, who can deal significant damage to him before he can get in range. Bane works best with heroes such as Tigreal and Lo Yi that can pull enemies together so he can do even more damage with his AoE. In the early game, Bane should focus on jungling until level 4. Then start roaming for ganks with the extra damage and CC from his ultimate. You have slain. In the mid to late game, Bane can choose to focus on teamfights or pushing lanes. And make use of his excellent jungling ability to take the turtle and lord for his team. Really? 